Of course, it's a millennial workplace. Millennials age, the, 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 the age range keeps changing all the time, right? You know, but generally, people born around the millennial, right? Around the millennial, around 18 to 34 years old, represents 50% approximately of the US workforce, according to most readers. Almost 50%. Whenever I hear like guys like me, the average age of the US small business owner is like 52.7 years old, okay, with me, right? And whenever I hear like guys like me or women like me, we're complaining about, oh, uh, they're lazy, they don't know the value of a dollar, they don't work so hard, they don't, you know, whatever, they don't come to work, which by the way was exactly the same thing that our parents were saying about us when we were their age, you know what I mean? The same thing that their parents are saying about them when they were their age. But here's the reality. The reality is that the millennial generation makes up half of our workforce. The smartest business owners and managers that I meet accept that. They don't complain. They're not trying to change an entire generation. They conform because this is a talented workforce. These are smart people. They have different values than us. For example, a majority of them favor independence and flexibility overcompensation in survey after survey. What is this nonsense? They prefer to spend more time with their families and have a balanced life than be at work? Who are these people anyway, right? In addition to that, they're the most tech savvy generation ever. They still desire human contact, but if you were using technology in your firm or if your clients are using technology that looks like something out of the 1970s or 80s, it turns off this generation. This is a generation that has grown up on, on you know, Facebook, Twitter, cloud applications, mobile devices and mobile apps, they expect their employers to be doing the same. It's the same thing as when you drive by a strip mall that it's still got the same cursive writing, you know, on the stores, like back in the sixties, you know, you would see like, you know, you'd think like Sinatra is going to drive up and buy something at Rite Aid. It looks like something very outdated. It's kind of like a, ter it's just a branding thing. And for branding our companies and our firms, our technologies have got to be up to snuff. They have the largest percentage of immigrants since the early 20th century. So regardless of the debates of legal and illegal immigration, this is this generation that has that many immigrants. Two thirds of them prefer working for organizations that are socially conscious. Again, who are these people? My goodness, you know, they want to feel like they're accomplishing something by going to work and working for companies that are doing, uh, how dare they actually have that point of view? Well, smart companies are responding to that. And I'm going to give you some examples of what I mean by that in a minute. This is your millennial generation. We as, as partners, as managers, when we advise our clients, we have got to do what we got to do to attract these people and to keep them, to compensate them well and to keep things under balance.